What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. This is Auto Detour and it's about negative two degrees out right now and I think we had a high of like positive two today. So today we're gonna attempt some four-wheel drive donuts in my single turbo F-150 back here. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, that is my sleeper F-150. It has a 76 millimeter turbo on a 5.4 liter uh, four-wheel drive drivetrain. So uh, just a fun video for you guys this week. Uh, let's jump right into it. Holy crap, it's cold out here. So before we jump into the truck, uh, I want to show you guys something on the front. Um, so now you can see the intercooler there, but the newest feature to the front is this, this crack in the grill there. So uh, I pulled the truck out of the garage the other day. It was negative 17 degrees out and I keep my garage at 55 degrees. That 70 degree temperature difference, uh, my grill did, definitely did not like that. So it's split wide open. So uh, we're gonna have to find a new grill shell, new grill. So definitely leave a comment down below what kind of grill we should look for for Gramps. So I don't think it would be appropriate to put the same grill back in it. That wouldn't be any fun. So let me know what you guys think uh onto the donuts all right let's pop it in four-wheel drive here oh my four-wheel drive knob fell off again i've been meaning to get a new one of those but uh the back the back split on it uh and it just kind of sits on there and during the last video i was doing four-wheel drive launches and my four-wheel drive knob flew off and it's under the seat somewhere let's give it a rip I think my four-wheel drive is engaged. Lights on. <laughs> Sounds amazing, but I don't think we're engaged. turn feels like the front diff's engaged because it there's a little bit of resistance to turning but it feels like the transfer case isn't engaging <laughs> that definitely puts a damper on the whole four-wheel drive donuts thing yeah well four-wheel drive's not working can't imagine how that happened some two-wheel drive donuts. Well guys, I feel like I've let you down. We can't end this video just coming out and breaking stuff and then only doing two wheel drive donuts. I mean, anyone can come do two wheel drive donuts. So it's negative one degrees. I thought we'd head out on the street a little bit, uh, do a few little pulls uh, so you guys can see the truck in action a little bit before we head back to the garage. Getting squirrely in second there. Hmm. 
<laughs> Minus two degrees. boost cut like immediately let's see what we hit there 12.9 <laughs> psi <laughs> we flew past boost cut all right one more negative three degrees no power brakes this time Sounds so good. I can confirm it would be super nice to have four wheel drive uh, when I'm trying to do even a boosted roll at negative three degrees outside. <laughs> Definitely spun the tires like right away. So I'm still getting used to like the rolling, the boosted roll. It seems like it spins the tires a lot easier when I manually put it in first or second. Forgive me if I don't understand the, the transmission in this thing, but uh, I'm wondering if like when you manually put it in first or second, if it actually locks out the torque converter. Cause I don't have that tire spin issue if I just leave it and drive and hammer on it. Anyway, let's head back to the house. We're gonna take a peek under the truck, take a look at that, uh, the transfer case, see if maybe a vacuum line just came loose or something. But uh, there's also a chance we smoked it. <laughs> see you guys back at the house. And as we pull into the garage here, I just want to point something out to you on that last pull out there on the street. We hit the highest boost level we've ever hit in gramps in negative three degrees. 13.1 <laughs> PSI, negative three degrees out. Uh, I mean, <laughs> what gives? <laughs> well, besides the transfer case. All right, back in the garage here. Let's crawl under here for a second. So there's... Oh, maybe the transfer case is electrically actuated? I'm not really sure. I guess maybe I made an assumption that it was vacuum actuated like the differential. Well, um, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm looking for at this point. I was kind of hoping to come over here and see like a vacuum line pulled off, but I don't see any vacuum lines. Alrighty, well there she is. Just a quick peek under the hood here. My catch can appears to be slightly full. I may need to empty that. Finding out what's going on with the four-wheel drive is gonna be a project for another day, but definitely let me know uh, where you think I should start on diagnosing it, whether you think it's a transfer case or front differential. Uh, I know vacuum lines are pretty common, but let me know if there's any other common things I should check, or if you think we just destroyed the transfer case. That's that's legitimately a good possibility as well. <laughs> so anyway, not exactly the content I was shooting for in this video, but we still had fun anyway. So if you guys enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, it helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a great night. We'll talk to you next time.